He's finally here. When are we sitting our asses down and discussing? The last time that Matt Kemp had an end game version. This is MLB 17 all over again. I am dreaming in my basement right now. If I am looking at an absolute insanity worthy Matt Kemp, then this is already going back to 2017. There was a Matt Kemp last year. It was a 97 or something. That came out early in the year, I think. It wasn't really something that came out late. This might be one of the best outfielders in the game at the moment. I feel like I've been saying this way too many damn times lately, but there is really nothing bad on this. Boy, we are at the time of the year where most likely amazing pitchers will most likely be released. Well, not that, that Cy Young, no. There was a Cy Young release or something I saw, I didn't, I kind of scrolled over it. So with all the amazing pitchers that are going to be released, you would think that a lot of people would be or where am I going with this? I'm trying to say is that I am not, I'm I'm using people different. I am not using DeGrom and Cabrera anymore. I, I'm not, I'm not lying. I said that last time and I meant every word of it. I am going into this game and I might either start Carlos Rodon or Lucas Giolito. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't want my opponent to, I want my opponent to have fun. I want there to be fun back in ranked seasons. And you know how you get fun back in ranked seasons? is you take those damn guys out of it. If you take DeGrom and Cabrera out, ranked is fun again. Let's just be honest. Like that's, that's the truth. I will gladly accept an ass kicking every single night. I don't, screw it. If I get my ass handed to me every single night, I will at least walk away knowing that I didn't use DeGrom or Cabrera. Would you believe me if I said I'm working on parallel fiving people? I'm trying to get a bunch of people to parallel five. That takes a while, I think. I mean, what is a while anymore? Could be different for everybody. All right, well. I don't know. The Grom at ship it again, right? Oh my Jesus, I wasn't being serious. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another Where is this? This is pretty much the same thing. This is legitimately another version of ship it. Just have to remember that my opponent is happy. And that's what matters. At least one person is happy tonight. Oh, I'm telling you, man, there's nothing, there's nothing harder. There is nothing harder than this. And did he hold up in time? Are we doing this already? You just can't sit upstairs and be a piece of shit and then come downstairs and face the Grom and expect to succeed. There is urine leaking down my leg already. That was an absolutely fantastic inning. This is going to be hard to get out. Yes, that was very weird in the air. Something about these minor league stadiums. Oh. Well, I don't think that was as bad as my first inning. All right, somebody, you want to put the ball in play here, somebody? I'm not fucking... Not feeling good. It's early, but I feel a bad. Man, I'm really starting to fucking think that the reason why people play at certain stadiums with DeGrom is because his pitches are faster on it. Am I a conspiracy theorist or is that true? Leave? What's happening? I left? I said leave out of hope. 
Alright, eat this guy alive. Fucking sick of it. Look at this. I think anything would have gone through there. I could have swung with my arm and it would have fucking went up the middle. What a sequence that was. I just struck out the first four guys who came to the plate and then the next three have come through. You're kidding my fucking face. What? That is a moonshot, folks. A long... I hope he quits. Jesus. What the fuck? Boy, is this a rough inning. He's thrown fucking 24 pitches this inning, if I just saw that correctly. I don't think anything that you cannot hit is getting by. That's a dumb, I don't know why I ran. And I still made it. Everything is working right this instant. Stop. Who flipped the switch? Somebody is in the control room flicking the switches around. Something about those seven nothing leads. I'm not good at holding though. This is probably the first time I've been up by more than two since like April. This would be amazing if I did have DeGrom on the mound now. If I was up seven runs with DeGrom on the hill, I would feel never more secure. Or I guess, I guess I just put up seven against him. I mean, I can't locate anything that I'm throwing right now. I have not perfected a pitch yet. This is what you get for using people you've never used before. Motherfucker, that was in the zone anyway. Can't believe Kemp went deep. He started it. Jesus. I don't know if he hit a button. Come on now, don't fall apart here. This is the last thing that can happen. Don't play it safe or anything. This is 0-0 zero, zero in my mind. Is it possible to be up 7 nothing and still feel like you're getting your ass kicked? I know for sure there will be hell to pay at some point for what the fuck happened in the second inning. His inning of vengeance awaits. Did I have- Listen, I know that I'm starting someone I don't usually start, but I will not hesitate. I will only pitch with the bullpen the rest of the year if it comes down to it. God, Trey Turner bugs me. I'm getting fucking pissed off seeing him in real life at this point. For the love of Christ, someone put someone else at short. There is probably a 0% chance this game is over. And you can even say that without looking at the scoreboard and realizing it's the fourth inning. This guy could put up 10 before I even throw one pitch. Let's be honest here. Next thing you know, it could say, what the hell is that pitch? That was somehow the best of the game. Please... I need someone to hit, to what? Someone needs to get a hit again. Oh, fuck you. And this is gonna be one, two, three, one, two, three, up until the damn ninth inning. Wait a minute. The key is to say something back. I don't know if I've... If I've figured DeGrom out now. The last two games I faced him, I don't know if I've ever played better. Well, if that left, Matt Kemp is broken. That's actually a big home run because he's probably has five waiting still. Oh no. Jesus, float it in there, buddy. Oh my Jesus, no. All right, this is impossible to locate a damn changeup with this guy. Please end this at bat. Oh my fuck, no way in hell I'm gonna get the out. How was in Giolito's confidence through the rafters? Lifted in the air to center. Jesus, run, Kemp. This is fucking terrifying. Ah, this has been a long time since I've played a game like this. Being up by a lot is the scariest shit. Makes you look more stupid when you blow the lead. Nothing bad about being down 4-2 or some shit and then blowing it. But when it's 8-2, that's ugly. I might be paranoid, I might just be fucking freaking out on the microphone, but I might take him out if he comes to the plate. I don't know, I feel like... It's only a matter of time. And he's got himself another Sit down. Dude. That carried a lot. I fucking... I want to hit him in the head. I pray to Christ that this comes to... Oh my fuck, no.
Get the bullpen warming up. This is not even a debate. This guy probably has six runs. I'm just not seeing it right. He's about to. This is why I am taking him out when he comes to the plate if he even makes it that fucking far. That ball may have been five feet off the fucking ground. That was the worst pitch of the game. Jesus, man. Kemp, what are you doing? Someone needs to get their ass in and get out. Fuck all these solo shots happening. This guy's been crushing everything for the most part. I don't know. I probably just got worse. I feel like locating the pitch with pinpoint is as hard as fucking analog was last year now. Why is that a thing? Why are people taking Miggy out and putting Vlad in? Put Vlad in from the beginning. I have never been more terrified. And there's still three innings to go. This guy is almost crushing all my shit. Scared to death every pitch, man. This guy might be crushing more balls than the green giant in a bowling alley. At this point, you just gotta hold the lead. Just, just hold it. No matter how many balls are crushed, you have to hold it. He only has four hits. He's probably steaming. He's been crushing everything for the most part, it seems like, and he only has four hits to show for. I cannot wait until I don't see this stupid idiot ever again. Why is he still up at the plate? No, do not- What? Dive? Don't tempt me! I will dive for it. I would have considered it if it still showed. No, don't fucking- Get out of this with a four-run deficit, and I am not that scared anymore. Or I'm winning. Vlad, I'll kill you. I'd have killed him. Jesus, I had fucking six hits, I think, in the second inning. Now I have seven. Thank God. I had the largest inning I've ever had, maybe. Otherwise, this would probably be a blowout for him. How many? Yeah, this would be 4 1 if the second inning was not a thing. Isn't it amazing how your offense just fucking disappears after you put up seven runs in an inning? Wrap this up. Come on. It's over with. I'm not scoring any more runs on this. This is a waste of time. We are wasting time and energy right now even being in the top of the ninth. That was crushed. Thank God, really. That's kind of massive. No, no. No, absolutely not. No, actually, that's not landing. Never been more excited. Thank you. Oh God. This is just terrifying moments after terrifying moment. What the hell did I just throw? That would have got him too. I know it. That is amazing. Amazing. I held the lead. That was the ugliest, amazing hitting performance of all time. Seven of the eight runs came in the damn sixth, or the what? Came in the second inning, and six of the hits as well. Wow, that was ugly. The fuck even happened? We need Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones to find the offense after the damn second. The fuck did everyone go? Thank God I held on to it. I don't have to feel pathetic tonight. Matt Kemp had a home run. This actually didn't go that bad. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I've ever had more satisfaction looking at anything than Jacob deGrom being in the loss column. He is my bitch once again.